please come forward. Hello. I'm Rabbi Green, G-R-E-E-N-E. -E -E. um, I'm the rabbi of Chabad Lubavitch of Rochester. Should I spell that too? It's uh, C A. Yeah, please. please. C H A B A D dash L U B A V I T C H of Rochester. We got. Got that. I think over here we got we got <laughs> Rochester. Seven thirty Second Street Southwest. Thank you. Um, I know tonight is the uh, assessment phase that you're talking about, and I do want to say a, a great amount, a great. Uh, expression of thanks to uh, Mr. Wojak for speaking to us over the years and particularly with the concerns that I have want to bring forward tonight. Not as much concerns as much as comment to a degree. Um, tonight I'm here with the uh, program director, my wife, Hani Green, and our chief of volunteers, Jonathan Safira, mm -hmm. and uh, which brings the idea of uh, what, we're, what, what, I want to, what I want to talk about. We are geared and I, as Mayo, Mayo members, you'd, you'd relate to this, that the needs of the patient come first. Our concern is about the patients that are coming through to Rochester and their families to be able to continue to have access to our location. What, is our lo what do we do at our location? It is not only a synagogue, but it's also a place that we provide Jewish hosp hospitality to uh, the members of the Jewish community that come from throughout the world. As Rochester being a, a medical destination community, we want to be sure that everybody feels welcome and every, everybody feels that their needs will be met as much as possible. And uh, the concern for us is the, the, the was, it, was the traffic part about be, uh, making people park on the other side of the street, hobble over the street, because not everybody comes here exactly in the healthiest of situations. And uh, to be able to have access to and, and to have access to come in and out, and not only that, but our volunteers to be able to bring food in, take food out, because over the 20, we've been here 25 years. Thank God, Chabad of, as a as an organization has been as a philosophy has been around 200 years, but uh, we over 5,000 patients over 20 years uh, have been uh, taken care of food wise. Because uh, people come to Rochester challenged with me getting kosher food. Unless you eat from my wife, you can see I'm not challenged with that. <laughs> and over, I, I thought somebody would argue with that, okay. <laughs> but, uh, and, 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 that's, and that's actually delivering food to people in the hospitals, delivering for people to, food to people in their hotels, people coming over, picking up food. So the right before the Sabbath, especially Friday afternoon, people wanting to come in and come out to, to make them park on a side street. So we were talking about to be able to have a bump in to allow us that we'd be able to bring in the food, get the food out without causing undue hardship on others. The assessment, I mean, we were, I like, like my, my neighbors of the, the Gifts of Life transplant house, I mean, like a good neighbor, they, I would wish they'd give me their parking. They've been kind enough to allow, not to yell at people that have parked in their parking lot, not that loudly. But, uh, so, but the, the, uh, the, the story is that it, it, does, it does put a challenge. I would say it's a challenge. I, I, I believe in God, so I believe God provides. If this is a, something that we want to participate in, and it's a wonderful location to be able to be centralized, it's, it's great. It's interesting to note that it is, actually, it's nice to hear that Rochester Area Foundation is doing so well. I'm glad to hear that. And there's actually an expression in, in of all things, I'm not going to say it in Aramaic, is Kriyana de Igrisa Ilahave Pravakna. The one that reads the letter should fulfill what it says in the letter. So they have a nice idea, a nice, a nice idea. So why not be able to share the wealth and be able to be, to, to, if it was a nice idea from the Rochester Area Foundation, show, you know, show us the money. You know, <laughs> it's a nice idea. Show us how, what their, their participation. Ideas are good, and I'm sure they've got paid, the people got paid well that created the idea and that uh, wrote it up. They didn't do it as volunteers, which we work as volunteers. 
Our budget is, oh, actually, when you ask about budget, I usually say, you want to know a budget? Or how much you want to give? <laughs> I mean, a person that comes along, we have, with, 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 the, with, our con with the contributors that come to be able to pay for help, that, you know, to participate. So they want to hear budget. Usually people that want to hear budget want to tell you how to spend less money. So if you want to spend less money, how much are you bringing? But our budget is approximately $180,000 a year. That's what uh, it's, it's, it's talk about do we, do we work at a loss? Do we, ch oh, I re remember, we don't charge anybody anything. We do not charge membership. We do not charge for a meal. We do not charge for anything at all. I mean, if a person needs, and they ask us, how much does it cost? We say it doesn't cost anything. This is our mission. If you want to give a donation, we'll take. Make the check out too, and then we spell Chabad Labav to Rochester. <laughs> but I, I'm, very, I'm grateful for this opportunity, and, and, and I just, just want to bring the awareness to the council, because, I mean, we do and the talk about the, uh, uh, beginning with a prayer, but I, to mention a, a verse, there's a, a verse in Micha, Micha, it's 6 8. It says, uh, the prophet says, He has told you, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you. It is but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly, humbly with your God. So perhaps people don't know what we're doing because we go a little bit humble. I dress, you can see how I dress. It's not exactly to, to hide in Rochester. Maybe it's a, the way I could dress could hide better in, in Brooklyn. But over here it does, it, does, it does promote, but we're not going out there bragging about what we do. And the reason I'm coming over here tonight is not to brag about what we do, but to raise the awareness so you understand when it comes to these applications of to create a loading, unloading area, a passenger pa a pick up and drop off, which when I think about NPR's click and clack, I can't say pick up and drop off with a straight face anymore. <laughs> but the idea, and, and, and the idea to allow uh, a, a, to cross over the, the, the uh, mid-block crossing so that when we do have larger events and classes that members in the community will be able to, because that would be more geared for members of the community, they could park on one side of the street and take the risks of crossing over 2nd Street at that time. But I, I really appreciate the opportunity to present this, and it's been, who knows, a divine providence to be able to come in because of our, our needs and to be able to recognize the great job that the city is doing on our behalf. And it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, if you have any questions. I would, you know, I would point out for the council as well, you know, th th thank you for keeping this light in the middle of all of this. We very much appreciate that. But your property has some unique challenges in terms of um, he's actually located at the center of a long of a long block. There is no um, 8th Avenue. It's between 7th and 9th. And I have been working on um, public works has been great and coming up with some ideas in terms of um, trying to do some things to help maintain access, particularly, you know, we don't want um, somebody you know, in a, in a wheelchair having to cross at a mid-block um, uh, connection. But, you know, it's not part and parcel to the assessment phase, but we, um, we, we have some ideas in terms of trying to maintain access, and we're going to continue working towards that as well. Um, Public Works, Mr. Fries, Mr. Nelson, do you have any comments about his concern about this access to the synagogue and the bump-in? The request for a, basically a parking bay, um, the council's position on those has, was established, I think, uh, first time that I recall was back in about 1993 or 94 on 4th Street Southeast when the several property owners on the south side requested parking um, where there was to be no parking on that side and the council required those property owners to pay 100% of that cost for that parking bay. So that's your policy, that's been your practice. And if that was something that was requested here, we'd work with the property owner. I think based on the width of this, the, the parcel, uh, there's probably only room for about one vehicle. Two, okay. And, and I think in addition to that, um, one, one thing that was, um, I'm not sure if it was in the original plan or not, but um, because it is a potential mid-block site, um, by putting in a mid-block connection, that does allow, as you mentioned, other people in the community quite a, access to quite a bit of parking in a um, in a safe in a much safer to cross area than it than it is currently. Unless you want to flip over the plans and make the south side parking, I'll be I won't have any. I'll pay the 18 grand. <laughs> no, no. Thank you, Rabbi Gain. Any other uh, so questions? Eight, your assessment was 18,000. You mentioned 18,080 dollars. Okay. Thank you. Approximately. 
which is significant because 18 is a numerical value of life. So, so if you got 36, you got two times life for the gift of life. <laughs> Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.